Good morning crafters! I have a new fun KS craft project share for you plus a tutorial if you want to watch that. But anyway, I wanted to show you this first because I think it's so stinking cute. I just love this adorable birthday cake shaker with the little candle that's on here. It is stinking cute! And also I used the birthday sentiments that I got and I just love them especially because they have the offset and my other favorite thing about this is, is that the word is all together on there I just love that but anyway I know it's not always possible but I really do love the cur cursive writing so then I also used the Christmas planner die and turned it into a easel card so I don't have the tutorial on this one but if you would like to see the tutorial just go ahead and comment below and I can go ahead and make one so anyway I hope you all enjoy the tutorial but here let me just share the dies again with you this is again the Christmas planner die set and it has some really cute sentiments in there like naughty and nice and it has like a little Christmas tree in there little um, bells just love 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 that also again here's all the birthday sentiments it has hooray birthday wishes um, celebrate just a lots of little cute things and then also here is the birthday cake shaker die anyway i hope you all enjoy the tutorial hi guys so first i wanted to show you the parts to the shaker cake as well as the birthday sentiments and what i'm going to show you first is this is going to be not only your bottom piece but your acetate piece too and depending on whether you're going to keep it as an embellishment to send to somebody you might want to layer this a couple times you know like maybe do 110 pound cardstock on the bottom of it or if you're layering it on top of a card it should be okay then you're going to want to do one piece of your acetate okay i'm going to put that to the side real quick then also for your cake pieces oh and i want to show you this real quick okay for your layering pieces to your cake you're going to i don't know if you can see where you actually took it apart all right what i want you to do is i want you to put it back together hold on i'm sorry guys am i in there shaking okay so and then i'm going to grab some you know cheap washi tape okay and I'm just going to put it across here. All right, then when you are layering your, not layering your pieces, but when you're making your layering pieces like this, okay, I went ahead and did two because um, I wasn't sure how I was going to do my top. And then I said, no, I want to have a nice sparkly cake. And so I went ahead and did two of these. And then I did several of my layering pieces. Now I have some pretty thick, um, shaker pieces so the thicker the shaker pieces are the heavier you're going to want to um, stack this up okay or you can use um, foam paper i'm out of it right now and i'm going to be ordering some more soon but anyway in the meantime i'm just going to layer this you know several times okay and all i did was cut off the candle because i actually don't need that um, to do this then for your candle pieces you have your base piece to your candle right and then you have your layering piece and then you also have your flame and probably what I'm going to do is just glue that right on top and then of course for your sentiments you're going to want to have and take them apart so you have birthday wishes and then I also have hooray so I haven't decided exactly if I'm going to make this a card or not um, probably so um, I know there are several birthdays coming up for some of my friends so um, I think I might be making a few of these and um, so you're just going to want to do your base piece and then your um, top piece I might do my top piece and glitter this time where normally I do my bottom piece and glitter and then layer it up but anyway let's go ahead and get started with the process video and I hope you all enjoy the tutorial don't forget to comment like and subscribe thanks
just want to let you in on some of the colors that I use for my ombre effect and that is um, hollyhock pink. I started off with this and then I kind of mixed in some festive berries by Tim Holtz. This is Simon Says Stamps. I also use Simon Says Stamp Melon and at the very bottom of my, I don't know if you know how to how to show this, but at the very bottom I used uh, Deep Kiss by Prima. Yes, I definitely use a lot of different colors. And then I use this, um, just a basic yellow color. Um, I used to have a Lemonade uh, by Tim Holtz, but it disappeared. So anyway, um, I just got that from, you know, a set that they had at Tuesday morning. So 